Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Hightail Podcast, your number one source for Hightail Podcasts and news and podcast news. I'm Chris. On this side of me is mine. Hey, <laughs> and we're talking Hightail again because that's all we love to yes. do. And we actually got some like somewhat sort of not really kind of news this week, which is pretty epic. Yeah, you want to start us off with that? Yeah, there was a ex Hightail staff member um, in a in a comment section of a YouTube video who I've never heard of this guy before. I mean, I've heard of Caleb is salty. I use a Minecraft YouTuber, but the guy commenting never heard of this guy. I'm surprised he's finally spoken out now considering his NDA released like two years ago, I think it was. Yes. But this is this is what the comment said. Uh, I worked at Hightail on Entity AI five to six years ago, which was 2017, 2018, pretty much. That is pre- Basically before the trailer, trailer. and then the trailer yeah. dropped, and then he was He, he, he dipped, was right? Yeah. yeah, so he said, at the time, uh, the game was in a great state. I left the company about a year... Uh, ah, I can't read. I left the company after about a year, and how the game hasn't been released since then still baffles me to this day. At this point, they missed their mark when it releases, and it won't have nearly as much hype as it would have years ago. And I do agree with that, but I think Riot will help push the game a little bit. I kind of disagree because i think riot's gonna push it to an audience that wouldn't even have cared or seen about it no I, so i i genuinely yeah, disagree with this um here's the second part get the hype of the people that originally wanted to play it because those yes. people <laughs> the joke is real people have grown up they probably um have they have very families. busy jobs they might have kids they might yeah families that's crazy to think about. Yeah, um, and the second part of this says, yeah. it's a shame. The developers I worked with when I was there were some of the smartest people I worked with to this day. I so can I can, only I'm going to pause right there. Yeah. Everyone in the Hytale team still says they are the smartest people they've ever worked with. So I'm so, very glad to see that that's still some, the case. Got and some that's genius more growing. So every yes. single time they add new people, they're like, this is like the smartest person they've ever met. So the Hytale yep. team still to this day is the smartest developer group that they've ever known, which is incredible. Hey, we know that. We, we say that too. We're, you know, so yeah. we're the same wavelength. Uh, also, it says, I can only imagine they're just as frustrated in the lack of release. My NDA only lasted two years, and I'm shocked and no one has come out and spoke on it because I'm sure the, their NDA was similar. So that means there's other people who left the team as well who had the same NDA. The game truly is a well-developed creative ad advertised. I... I just don't think the people making the big decisions were as experienced as they should be. Truly is a shame. That's it. Yeah. Um, it sounds more toxic than it is. I don't think he's actually mad. Um, and no, Chris, you did end up uh, talking to him. We won't talk about what yeah. uh, we talked about. But he seems like a nice guy. He seems like he genuinely cares about the dev team. And the only thing is he was just kind of disappointed the game never ended up releasing. Yeah, um, people are taking a lot of this like straight out of context, considering it was yeah. on a video that says the Hightail team lied in the thumbnail. Yeah. So a lot of and, people are taking it out of context. This, this comment was posted on Reddit, and well, we know how the Hightail. Yeah, is. it's how the Hightail Reddit. So it's really not that bad. He seems like a really cool dude from like the little interaction I had with him on mm -hmm. on uh, social media. He has no ill will towards the Hightail team, so he seems like a cool dude. We were we were thinking maybe getting him on the pod, but we're like, nah, we're not gonna do that. There's yeah. There, there wouldn't be anything much to talk about. Um, he says that there's other devs that left. Um, and I mean, that's obvious. You can't have the entire yeah. dev team from five years ago still be the same no, uh, exactly. today. But um, even if they were to talk anything about it, I think what he means is like just kind of um, their feelings about it not being released, not the game itself. Because mm. um, we talked about this with other high dev creators. It wouldn't make sense to leak pretty much anything in the game because then you can't get hired for the next game. Because if you're just gonna leak that game, what makes you not leak yeah, the next right? game you're on? Ex exactly. That wouldn't make like, any like, sense. That would be so stupid. Like you're just gonna come on the podcast and be like, oh, by the way, this is the lore. This is when we were supposed to release the game. This is what they're planning on doing from the grapevine. Yeah, like they wouldn't that, do that. That, that. Just, that would not make any sense. That would not make any sense at all. But yeah, we just wanted to cover that just to start. Uh, we also got some more John Hendricks tweets mine because he actually was a little active on Twitter. So was Budacat this week as well. You have them pulled up, right? Uh, sort of. My Twitter refreshed, so I gotta look up. <laughs> Freaking Twitter, man. Yeah, we talked about the bookshelf thing last pod. Uh, what, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Did we talk about tameable mobs and buildable constructs? Yes. Or, we did talk about that? Alright. Uh, I think so. I think we did, too. Someone asked about griffins. Uh, John Hendricks says he also loves griffins, but... 
for Orbis, they try to avoid taking things directly from fantasy that slash mythology and like to put their own twist on things. That's pretty cool. Um, well, like like a Trork, a troll and an orc. They're not just gonna yeah. have a troll or an orc. They're gonna have a Trork, pretty much. That's it's kind of what I they're doing. I feel like I had this epiphany before in the podcast when you said that. Yeah, I feel like you've mentioned this on the podcast before. I remember freaking out, being like, "It's a troll and an orc put together," and I'm wow. having the exact same epiphany. I'm not joking. Yeah, my mind is going <laughs> crazy right now. But it's That's even weirder because I know for a fact I've heard this before. I think yeah, it sounds like something I would say. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Uh, they also said they are excited to announce a lead animator role. So if you're like good at animating and stuff, like you know, go, New go there. New job. That's exciting. New job. Uh, John replied to you because he's an avid high tail spins uh, watcher. Because you know they got arrested and John yeah, John on the team. John yeah. left the team unfortunately. But we kind of yeah. talked about that last episode. There's one Buddha tweet I want to talk about. Someone yes. um, watched my latest video um, of the gameplay and he was like, "Yo." I just remembered how good Hytale's dynamic sky is. And I when I was I, when I was putting together the gameplay, I was looking at the sky and like this is crazy. There's so much cool lighting effects. Um, and Buddha said we hinted at this back in the 2019 blog post. Don't want to give anything away yet. But I will say this is back in 2019 and our team has leveled up since then. So the sky that we're gonna see once we see new gameplay of the new engine is allegedly going to be really crazy. Oh, I can't wait. Imagine like, I mean, l l if you look at our background right now for this podcast, the sky is already beautiful. And that's an older image, probably from like 2020 or 2021. So I can just imagine what it's going to be like with the new engine. Yeah, so if you want to pull that up on your phone, I sent it to you. Um, yeah, that's what it was in the blog post in 2019. That is four years ago. Ah, They've yeah. had four years to I work remember, on this sky. That was a video, wasn't it? Or was no, this is a, a this is this is a picture. Oh, I swear there, there was a videos. small video like that too, but I I, I I could be mistaken. Oh well, still really epic. Not gonna lie, I do like yeah. that. Yeah, and then if you guys after the podcast, of course, you don't want to leave right now. Mm -hmm. But after the podcast, you're not gonna remember this. Why am I saying this? The Riot Arcane, uh, like Hightail showcase video, had yeah. some absolutely incredible lighting that we've not seen even before that. That video blew me away because I, I was rewatching everything uh, these past few days. And that video showed the progress of the gameplay. And that was just in what, 2021? I think so. Maybe just after. Yeah, because that was a big thing when that thing dropped. Nobody expected really that yeah. trailer. We're like, whoa, what trailer? That's pretty the coolest thing ever. I made a video on it. I think that was 2021. But made might have been might have been years ago early again 2022. Now. Yeah, that's still that is, two years ago. Well, that's they have two pre. Years of progress. That's pre new engine. Yeah, right or development of new engine. Yeah. So get ready for that. So yeah, imagine what they're gonna do. Holy cow! I'm so excited. Uh, John Hendricks. He replied to somebody who was saying um something, but he uh, what I want to take out of this is that he said where what do you say this? Uh, he said things are going well in the game. Drafting up a few things to share from the team. So. Blog post? They're drafting up the blog post. Blog post. That's what I'm doing. And I, I, I did a little joke tweet saying, hey, what if the blog post is just a QA and a blog post? Imagine. But the Q first question is, when is the release date? And they link a trailer. How sick would that be? That would be, everybody want, be like, If you oh. want to steal that idea, um, I would like a like a tiny little like fine print on the very bottom of the blog post being like, thank you, mine, for the idea. Um, but you should I can, just, you should I can see that happening. Everybody's going to be like, oh, Q&A blog post. And then the first thing, it just oh, goes, everybody so goes crazy. It'd be so funny. That would be very funny. I don't know uh, if mar like marketing-wise, that'd be the best idea. But, no, you know, probably not. <laughs> as a joke. I then think you release a blog post after. That's like, ah, it's the trailer. You know, the, the beta or whatever. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's that. No, not much else John tweets here. That's really notable. So. Well, Hytale was trending. Hightail, oh, I forgot about the whole big old news of Hightail trending. Yeah, Hightail from, is trending for from the first the, time in years. From the second most popular Hightail news source. Yeah. Yeah, because we're number one, obviously. Yeah, so Hightail News um, did one of their Hightail News shenanigans. I think um, they put a Hightail is greater than Minecraft post on, on Twitter. Or it's X. something I'm sure most of you have seen because they've tweeted it around like five times now. Yeah, and everybody everybody rips on them for it because they put like the oldest beta version of Minecraft. Yeah, and then they and put then, like, like the first screenshot of the um, Hightail trailer. trailer. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. That's the first we've seen of Hytale, and I guess the first we've seen of Minecraft, but like that was like 2009 versus yeah, 20, there's like a 13 2018. years of uh, development difference. Yeah, they they did end up deleting the tweet, but like, man, that really riled they up the entire Minecraft community. They deleted it because Buddha replied to it. Oh, they, they would did. not have deleted it. Yeah, because it stayed up like days it after up. it was viral. Days after they got hate for it, everyone was telling them to delete it, and yeah. then Buddha finally replied. Saying, my friends, let's not get Hytale trending by being antagonistic towards other <laughs> game developers. Yeah, and one thing that was kind of crazy about that one, like you said, it got trending. But that Hytale news post had like over 7 million Twitter impressions. Yeah. That's a lot of eyes on the game at that one time. Like considering the trailer itself, like the Hytale trailer, has just 60 million views. That was 7 million people looking at that post at least for a second. Yeah. That's a lot. That's why Hytale was trending. And, and like, and Hytale News, they get crap. Like, they're also, like, they're also verified, sort of. They pay for it. Yeah, they're verified. they are verified. So they so get more impressions. They get more impressions. Um, but, but that's a crap is, ton. That's a crap ton of views. Do you want to talk about the issue of them being verified? Yes. In kind of this scenario. I, I don't think they should remove their verification. But people see the verification beside the name Hytale News and they think it's an official, like, news source or Hytail. And yes, they are a news source, but they're not part of Hypixel or Hypixel Studios or Hytale. They did remove a, the official news thing for Hytale in their bio. Yeah, now it does change say, their bio. I respect that. I do respect that. And also, um, Onsity, who is one of the owners of Hytale News, did say that they were going to donate all the money that they got from the impressions of that tweet to smaller Hytale creators or charity or something like that. So, like, great job, Hytale News. That is a good step in the right direction. I and, will put yeah. a note out. They have not shown any initiative in wanting to change. It's only after the community completely dogged on them. Um, I know one of the community members DM'd Hytale News about their bio. And it was like, yo, this is an issue. Change it. And then they changed it. Okay. They did not change it because they wanted to. They did not delete it because they wanted to. Yeah. That, now I'm they're just throwing that out there. They also do have not affiliated with Hytail, which you should have. You should have that because a lot of the Minecraft people who don't know about Hytale news or just getting or just hearing about Hytale for the first time are like, oh, an official news source the, ripping into the Minecraft. Amount, the amount of comments and quote retweets being like, hey, this is so you, should, many. you are cringe. Why are you like you are developing this game and you are advertising it weird. And it's like, yo, these are not the developers. One of the what what apply? It was like a literal verified account. It was like Opera GX or something. GFX? Oh yeah, Opera GX said uh, yeah. they used to be believable. Yeah, that was actually really funny. That also probably gained him a bunch more oh, yeah. people on eyes on that, so that probably didn't help. But yeah, there was there was there there was Minecraft YouTubers also retweeting it too and being like, yo, what the hell is this? But I didn't see any of the Minecraft YouTuber ones. I saw that one guy that's apparently only popular on Twitter that uh, reminds me of uh, Blitz's profile picture. Oh, I know who you're talking about. I don't know his yeah. name. The tweet's deleted now, so we can't see it. I don't it, know either. But yeah, so I mean, good on Hudson Lose to lead it. The right thing to do, but just please, just don't do that again. Yeah. Um, don't do that again. I mean, I also tweeted it, but I mean, um, I didn't get hate. So <laughs> <laughs> people like you, not Hudson Lose. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I guess so. I did it as a joke though, but I also found pretty similar images. So <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, I think we cleared that up, right? Did we clear that up? Do we have any other news to talk about? Because I think we can go into. Uh viewer questions we could but also the topic of just high tail news trending i mean not high tail trending not high tail news trending high tail trending kind of epic though like it, it kind of brought a little it's spark back sick. to the community it's kind of it was sick. it was pretty sick like seeing it like kind of just like there on the side yeah like, there's been so many things that um have brought attention to the high tail community just in like the past week or two um mm -hmm. we can talk about that one video high tail doesn't exist that video um, did numbers High tail doesn't exist. Let me see. Is it at a million I, yet? I think it is. It it's 700k. That's unreal. 700k six days ago, as of the uh, time of recording, that is gonna hit a million views. Yeah, um, Connor also did upload a video too, actually. Yeah, Connor also. I was gonna get to that. And um, Slam, I did more OSTs, I think. That why High tail doesn't exist video was actually kind of positive about High tail. Um, I, I never watched the it. Development of it and most of the comments seem positive towards it being like yeah you know what i think this is a good idea that they're uh redeveloping i'm very excited i'm looking for an alternative to minecraft um yeah so i'm great. glad this video was able to spin it in a good light um because it looks like there's a lot of lot of people who are like oh i didn't you know know this game existed or i forgot about this game but mm -hmm. it looks great um and it kind of gets us out of that 
because we're we're in like this microchasm uh community and like half of them more than half of them are like uh basically the reddit um the reddit yeah. is super negative um <laughs> we know see that, you know or basically anyone in hightail news is comments where they're also like oh fuck hightail um but it's good to see anyone outside of this micro community be like hey you know what this game's kind of cool and every single time literally yesterday I was showing my friend. I literally showed one of my friends the Hytale trailer. I was like, "Yo, by the way, I'm doing YouTube on this. Uh, no way. I'm gonna do after after I graduate." Uh, and he, he pulled up the trailer and he's like, "Yo, this is kind of sick." You know, uh, I hell yeah, been, dude. I hell haven't yeah. been gaming in a while, but this, you know, this looks sick. I love that. Good. I I so, respect it, man. I respect it. So every every you know person outside of this tiny community is still super excited for Hytale. Every single time I show someone the trailer, they're like, "Yo, this is kind of cool." Yeah, everybody says that. Even back in 2018, when I was showing the trailer to my friends, they're like, "That's pretty good looking gameplay." And that was, <laughs> yeah, they're like it was pretty good. I never did, it never released, and obviously. Five year old gameplay. That is I want, game oh, dude, I'm so excited for this. What, okay, I want to blog before those. we get into viewer viewer questions. Let's talk yeah. about expectations because we're getting closer. We are getting closer. I don't think anything's coming in October. What's your thoughts? No, I don't think so anymore. I initially I did, but I I. I think it's gonna come in probably November because like December the team goes away for the holidays yeah, and then they get I don't, famous. I don't think it's gonna come out in December. Everyone's saying like December thirteenth, but what have we ever gotten December thirteenth? We talked about this in the previous blog post, but they don't care about the date. No, they do. Maybe they, they will. The, Maybe they will. Clarify. They care about that date, but yeah. in in previous times they haven't really released around that date. They've kind of yeah. released you know when they are ready. We've heard oh that wow! Before. Ready when it's ready. Who would have thought? But yeah, uh, yeah, we also do have Thankmas coming up in uh, December. I forget which weekend it is actually. Uh, do we have that number? I believe it's already? like the sixteenth. Uh, sixteenth. It's a Saturday, wait, is it, right? Wait, is it is it leaked yet? Is it public? I don't know. I don't think. I don't even know the date. I'm just kind of guessing. Is it the ninth or the sixteenth? Okay. It's what'll be one of the Saturdays. Definitely. I think it's like the ninth. I don't is think it? it's about that leaked that. Yeah, it's like no. It's what like are they the... gonna do? Like prepare. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah. yeah clear your schedules guys um it's either one of those two days i'm gonna be honest i don't know yeah this year's thankmas though is gonna be awesome like um, there's first a two lot weeks of things of december it's it's in the first two weeks of december there's no date okay, so it's probably the ninth yeah so get ready it's gonna be pretty epic you guys i mean not it's not gonna be pretty epic it's 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 great it's gonna be the greatest it's be very ever. epic we yeah. have we're so. leaking this i don't know if they want us to leak it but we have a small segment in high tail thankness that you're going to uh, want to stay tuned for if yep. you aren't able to catch it we're going to try to upload it here as well um and <laughs> we'll so have stupid. a surprise we'll have a we, surprise there. Yeah. we're not going to leak anything about it nope chris has given tiny hints but we're not going to talk have about it anymore yes. all i'm going to say is you're you're going to want to be there you're going to love it you're going to you're just going to it's going to be a banger yeah i think Beer yeah so time. so blog post we think uh, november i'm just going to say what is the 13th of november Let's just go crazy. It's a Monday. Let's take a look. Okay, so it's maybe not, not a bad day. A Monday's not a bad day, you know. Oh, I'm at some, I was like September. I was like, okay, okay. Yeah, that works. That works. I mean, the seventeenth would work. Um, the first to the thirtieth. Any of those work. days? Any of I'm those? I'm looking days. at November, and pretty much all of those days work for me. <laughs> They're like a nice. Saying? You know what I'm like, saying? Like you know, you know, you see the the first. That's a Wednesday. Good day. The thirtieth. That's a that's a Thursday. Great day. I'm anything you know in an, between. You know what's an excellent day for me? What? anything past the 21st that's when i get monetized Alrighty then folks yeah. you know what that means so let's hold out let's hold how out come the blog how come you gotta wait till the 21st, till the 21st? um because apparently it got flagged and i didn't realize it and they were like oh yeah you can like reapply if you think we made a mistake and they did um but i didn't see that notification and the date to like the last day to reapply was like september something um and i realized yeah. in october and oh. I'm like, well, shit. And then Wait, why, like, did, why okay, did they flag yeah. it? For just no reason? Um, Reused content. Oh, for shorts and stuff, probably? Yeah, I think so. Uh, well, yeah, um, yeah the happened. last day to submit an appeal was September 13th. So I got to wait mm. until November 21st um, to get monetized. All right. So, like, to get monetized, then you'll be good. Uh, yeah, easy. let's get on to... Yeah, easy. Let's get on to questions here. Soon, actually, the podcast will be monetized. Hopefully. I think we're at, like, what? Almost 700 subs right now? Yeah, we, we need 1,000 subs, guys. I know we can get there. Yeah, we're, we're six away from 700, so we're, we're kind of chilling right now. Yeah, let's get on to viewer questions, mine. We got the watch hours, but let's get on to the, let's get on to the viewer questions. This allergy season is killing me. Mine hasn't been bad this year, actually. Like, the, the summer was bad, like always, but... Right. 
It's not that bad. Penalty for dying in adventure mode, says Mila's. What's going to be the cost for dying in adventure mode? Will you be sent to some temporary afterlife like in Sea of Thieves? Will you lose all your stuff? If you've leveled up your character, even if that's possible, will you lose some of your stats? So we know leveling your character doesn't hmm. exist. Yeah. So we can scratch that off. I don't think we're going to go to some purgatory. Stuff. I assume I assume it's going to be similar to Minecraft where you just drop your items. Yeah, and also we see that there's gravestones in the game, so I don't think the stuff will be on the ground and just despawn. But I don't know if you remember, but in a video, there's like a little waypoint on the top with a grave. So that probably like Oh, leads I don't you... remember that. Wait. It's a uh, look at the, it's the, you know where the guy fights the Chork and then he like dual wields and eats the fish or whatever, something like yes, that, yes, that yes, video. Yes, yes. So on the top, there's like a waypoint and there's like a little castle on it, which I assume is like to your house or a prefab or something. And then there's this like um, a grave and I assume that's probably leads you towards a previous death, I would say. Um, so maybe that's how you find your stuff beats me but i i ain't no dev <laughs> um yeah you're gonna have to keep talking i'm, I'm gonna look for this gameplay yeah mine's my, this. mine's looking for the gameplay clip yeah it's there so i mean it's literally just like a big compass on the top of your screen you really can't miss it i see so, equipment demo yeah. too mm -hmm. yeah it's a good one i don't know if it's in the other one though i don't know if there is no map like on this what are you talking about on the top look on the top there's no there's no map but like oh, it's a little compass oh i see it dude i don't think i've ever looked at that or seen that wait that's really? crazy you never yeah, seen that. How do I not know this existed? Yeah, okay. Oh my God. So there is a grave. Wow, my... Yeah, there's a grave on there, right? I thought so. Okay, that just... but that that might just be like a waypoint being like, hey, that's where you died. I don't think graves are going to drop on the ground. I think your items are going to drop. Uh, I can I can, I can, can uh, tell you that they do drop on the ground. If you look at the Duke, it's a screenshot. There is a bunch of graves in there. Right, but does that mean that it's... I mean, well, it's a graves? boss battle. It could, it could be. It could be a boss battle. You just die a crap ton of times. Or Maybe. it just could just be for effect. Yeah, it could just be for, for effect. Um, yeah. I don't think it... Yeah, I don't know. I think it'd be cool if there's graves. I hate item despawning in Minecraft. I think that's yeah. an annoying feature. Very annoying feature. I mean, it makes sense for lag issues, but... Yeah, it makes yeah. a lot of sense for dude, yeah. servers. Yeah, you're going to need that. You, you know how like servers do like a item clear on the ground every like five yeah. minutes or whatever? Yeah. They got to do that. You're going to have to do that, especially for like grindy servers. Not, um, if there's, yeah. not if there's graves. Not if there's graves. You're right um well, yeah will you lose other stuff yeah i think it's just graves now that we see the grave icon and um i don't think those are player graves but you know what well we have our two theories yes all right next do, question do you think there will be ho any holiday reskins and stuff from absolutely Lord 777? I absolutely so We've already seen a bunch of Halloween screenshots. We've seen Christmas screenshots. There's Christmas lights already. Like it's gonna happen. It's gonna be awesome. Like I can. We see, we've seen a chork with a Santa hat already. Yeah. So like it, it's gonna happen. It's already in the game. Yeah. Imagine every single holiday you just see all the chorks wear Santa hats. Mm -hmm. I or wonder if like it'll be Easter, an option. There's feature. a higher chance for bunnies to show up. Oh my god! Imagine they drop like little eggs and you get like eggs That'd and be you can so sick. trade them with clopses or whatever only around Easter time. That'd be sick. I love that. I love that. Easter, um, yeah, Halloween, people wear pumpkins. Um, yeah. Someone said, like, pumpkin scarex, which is witch hats on black cats. Oh, that'd be so cool. I'd be so cool. Oh, my God. That'd Slime be would so love that. cute. That'd be the cutest thing ever. Yeah. I th I hope Slime is watching this episode so she mm -hmm. hears that. Uh, Christmas scarfs on snow bio mobs. That'd also be cute. That'd be cute. Gingerbread men. Cookies reset. Gingerbread men. Oh, so like uh, cookies change to gingerbread men. Okay. Oh my god! Like imagine that. like the zombies or whatever. They literally change to like walking gingerbread dudes. That'd be so oh. <laughs> that'd be so awesome. Like a uh, little army. Bunny ears on all mobs, or well, I don't know about that one. Um, or the thing is, Halloween. not everybody celebrates all these holidays as well. Yeah. Though. That's the thing. So like, can, will it be optional? Can yeah, I think just... that I think the Easter one won't happen because that's a very specific like Christian religious, holiday. Yeah, it's a religious. Um, holiday. I mean, so I is think... Christmas though. No, but Christmas is usually um, holidays, and most okay. people celebrate the holidays even if they're not right. Religious. Yeah, it's like the holiday season. Yeah. Um, and then Halloween, I think, is just um, bang. It's turning into like a global event. Everyone loves Halloween. Like I was at a Halloween party yesterday, dressing yeah, up so, as Dolph so Domingo. Oh yeah, if you guys, I'm gonna actually tell you to pause the episode right now and go to Chris's Twitter. It's CF. Is it CF Flash or C Flash? Uh, it's Flash, Flash Canadian. underscore Canadian. I don't know why it's backwards. I don't know how to change it. I'm too stupid to do it. So it's Flash underscore Canadian. His most recent uh, media post. 
is me. Because, my... What? No, no, no. Hold on. I take this back. Don't leave the podcast. Show it on your phone. Yeah, I can show it on my phone. Don't they already left. leave the podcast right There's now. No, no one here. come back. There's come no back. One here. We lost all viewer retention. Damn it. I'm stupid. Look what you did, mine. Damn it. Um, yeah, that's me in my Do Flamingo costume. You can't see it, mine, but you can just look on Twitter. So yeah. Oh well, yeah, I've seen it. I won the costume contest, by the way. I just want to oh, point that you? out. I did. I did. I nice. won. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank I want you. everyone in the comments to congratulate you. Yeah. On that. I won a big Kit Kat candy bar. Huge. That was such do you a win. Eat, do you do you break the Kit Kat in half or do you just raw dog it? Whoa! Who the hell raw dogs it? You gotta I break do. it in half. You're you're a psychopath. I just eat it. I just eat it raw. <laughs> you're a psychopath, mine. I do that I, because everyone looks at me and they're like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> you're, you're, I like it. I like the weird looks. I, I I don't even know what to say anymore, guy. Who is mine? <laughs> <laughs> he, he he bites it. What do you bite it from the side or from the top? I you bite it from Just, the side. Oh my god! I need you to should bite it from the that. side. That'd be so funny. <laughs> that would be so funny. Dude, I'd get even more looks from that. You I'm would. That. You would. All right. Next question. Levi Zashulker asks, "Do you think trees will fall when chopped down?" Oh, we have a funny thing to talk. Didn't about. Didn't uh, Knox? The you should sign? you should watch the last episode. Yes, to be fair, sure. this uh, question was asked in September, mm -hmm. so he was ahead of the curve. Oh, he was. Oh, Wait, so maybe you maybe you stole his question. No, maybe you stole his content. No. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Fish asks ability to name tools slash weapons. Um, with an anvil, like in Minecraft. Yeah, yeah like it, with an anvil in Minecraft. So I don't know I, why that would take experience, though. Honestly, like in Minecraft, it takes so much. Yeah, experience I think it's so stupid. Name. It's so dumb. Um, like, why do I need thirty levels to change to name to change a name? Like, this is so dumb. But, I've been binging Quebec Corner videos, and have you? he actually talked about this in one of his first episodes where he was talking about it. the UI. Yeah, because we uh, see like the. Um, uh, weapon repair or weapon like um, enchant anvil basically the anvil equivalent equivalent yeah. and there wasn't an option to change the name uh, and so he was like yes yeah, so this is where you'll do all the anvil equivalent stuff and I assume you'll just be able to change the name elsewhere and I agree I think you should just be able to like see your weapon or tool to be able to click change name yep it's so it's just a name like who cares right yeah, like i don't, I don't need my 20 minecraft like experience levels to change a stupid name so yeah yeah a high tail podcast survival slash smp slash server from gt what do you think about a high tail podcast server like a just a regular Ooh. server that people can play on i mean that would kind of slap if my one piece idea isn't allowed because of copyright yeah it would just be probably the most basic survival server because we're just a podcast. Yeah, I'd be down to host just, it because, I mean, theoretically, all we'd have to do is, uh, you know, click oh, create <laughs> server and then have it run, right? Share the IP and then that's it. Yeah, it will be well, the like, oldest podcast server in Hightail. Like, would you would you guys want that? Because that's a, that's a question for you. Would you want to play on a, an SMP? Literally just like a standard, like, um, survival world, mm -hmm. um, but with all of your... Um, podcast uh community yeah i mean i uh, think that'd be cool it'd be pretty um, fun we could, be pretty uh fun. like live stream maybe that do a few episodes in the server itself uh mm -hmm. show off community creations kind of stuff like that that would be something it'd be interesting i think we have just be cool add, start, start flying around banning hackers you know back like people <laughs> used to do on the like the cosmic pvp TV. yeah <laughs> it's like ah yeah. oh, ban yeah that'd be fun yeah I think I think we can consider it. Um, it's just if you guys want it. If that's something you guys are interested in, we can definitely look into that when the yeah, time comes. I'd be so down. To, dude, I, I have so many projects to do. I can't wait. We're gonna yeah. be busy, dude. We're gonna be so busy. Holy cow! And then we gotta go to Icon. So and then we gotta go to Icon. Yeah. 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 Icon. Ozzy asks. Yeah. Oh, that's just that's, a comment. That's it. Ragdolls. <laughs> oh, ragdolls. I would like to see something like the bigger the mob, the longer the ragdoll gonna despawn when killed. Imagine the Yeti boss, boss instead of despawning, it just stays there. What, like English a carcass? Sucky. Like a carcass? Yeah, like a carcass on the mm. on the uh, okay. floor. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, yeah, what are you gonna do? Just like start walking over it and then start kicking it and yeah. slicing it? Um, cause I understand this if 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 it's for bigger bosses and you kind of want to see the body there. Um, mm. I I first off, I think that will definitely change the age rating one tick up. Well, yeah, because dead, right? Yeah, you literally just see a dead body. Um, but also, I'm th thinking of this in terms of animals and animal farms. If you have, like, a giant cow pen and you just kill people or kill cows, that sounds wrong. Well, you're going to create a slaughterhouse? People. Like, that's kind of... Yeah, and then yeah. all the bodies just lay on the floor. So <laughs> yeah, that would be very... I take the assumption 
um, it would be because of bosses and, and it's like restricted to bosses. Um, it would be very funny. Like imagine just killing the Duke and, and the ragdoll glitches out and he just like flies all over. I think that <laughs> yeah, I mean, funny. are you gonna, are you going to be making like Hytale funny moments montages? Like I feel like that's something you would probably try to do. Because those, um, those do pretty well on YouTube. I don't YouTube. think I would. I might do like a few. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like people were like would like to watch that. Maybe if we had like a second channel, we can do that. That'd be cool. I don't think I'd be the one to make it. I think I'd be the one that want would want to be in it. You know? Yeah, I think we'll have a lot of funny moments. So we'll yeah, just like someone like... else make a funny moments channel and just add me in it. Yeah, just put us in there. Uh, I'm we'll sure we're gonna have a few funny moments here. We're gonna and there. do some stupid things in, in high tail. Bean Dealer asks, "How would the adventure slash story world, uh, story mode world be? How would you think the adventure mode world be? Prefabricated world with set structures to go like a fantasy open world, or would it be randomly generated like a regular world with structures placed randomly sele uh, selected areas? I think the latter. Ah, uh, yeah, hundred percent. It's going to yeah. be well. It's not going to be procedurally generated, but the the far lines will be. So, I've been doing my high tell research, and I watched the oh, Nazi happy. interview with." Game gurus, um, game or, gurus. Well, yes. but now it's legacy, but it was game gurus back yeah. then. Yeah, and Noxy talked about how no two adventure mode world or playthroughs are going to be the same. You mm -hmm. may come across a structure that I will never see in my gameplay, and then your story of the adventure mode is going to be completely different from my adventure mode. That's which awesome. is going to be completely different from Chris's adventure mode, and you're all going to have different stories to tell, even though it's you know kind of the same story, but your story is different. So do you think so, um you think there'll be like incredibly rare structures that like maybe one oh, in a so. thousand people will see like yeah I hope so in a and I think they will have that I think they will yeah. have that yeah I think that's so that'd be so cool like imagine be that one player just loads up and you're like I have that <laughs> and then that, that and I could see people doing like hunts for those like that's a YouTube video right there like search for the red Quebec tree or something like no, I don't know so, I mean it'd be a like, It'd be a good stream. It would not be a good YouTube video because it's literally just like go in one direction and yeah, find it. It would be a good stream. I don't think that'd be a good YouTube video, but yeah, I think that's a cool stream idea. That'd be cool. I can think. I can see people doing that. Hytro X asks: Storm formations in Hytale. Do you think storms in Hytale will form spontaneously in specific areas? For example, there could be a thunderstorm in Zone One, and you're in Zone Two near the border of Zone One. Would you be able to see the gray clouds and lightning flashing? That would be sick. I'd love that. So that's one thing I don't like about Minecraft. How if it's raining, the entire world is raining everywhere. Or if it's, yeah, that's that does happen. I think it'd be really cool. Just say you're like under the Sky Islands, you look up and there's just a freaking thunderstorm with like islands around. That would be really sick. Like you were saying, that could be really cool. Uh, if you're in zone one and you're on like the border of zone one and zone two, it'd be really sick if you could see a sandstorm in the distance and you're like, oh yeah, I'm not I mean, going there. Yeah. yeah, you could be like, oh, I do want to go in there, or I don't want to go in there. Or if you see, like, rain coming towards you. I don't know how hard this would be to develop. It sounds like it'd be pretty intensive in terms of GPU or something. Probably. But if it is possible, um, even, even like, a mod, that'd be super, super cool. I'd love yeah, that. I see a lot of people asking about, like, natural disasters and stuff. So, like, yeah, yeah you could I mean, have, like, a tornado. We've talked about natural disasters. I don't think natural disasters no. in their game. But no, I if hope, anything, just like a volcano like we've mentioned before. Yeah, I hope cool weather pattern stuff. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Material weapon progression. Do you think the web are from Dr. Destroyer? Do you think the weapon weapons will have linear material progression? Example, starting with wood, moving up to diamond in Minecraft, or do you think all weapon material will be close to equal in strength, but with different stats? Interested to hear everyone's thoughts. So I think there'll be like a basic view. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. Yeah, I think it's going to be a general timeline. Like, wood is not going to be as good as Thorium. No, but I, not at I all. But I really hope the end game isn't linear. I hope the end game has, like, you know what? This material is good. This material is good. This material is good. Choose whichever suits your playstyle more. Right, and we, we sort of kind of see that we see Cobalt, right? Like, that seems like it's, yeah. like, sort of the diamond equivalent in the game. But then there's other swords that we don't know what or they are like the fire sword what the hell is that yeah what's i mean that, there's what's there's that cloud stuff too. So yeah what's the cloud sword. stuff what's all this demonic axe type stuff like what how do i get that stuff like is it better than cobalt is it worse than cobalt i don't know is it equivalent but, to cobalt right yeah we know like one is demon soul reaper and the other one is the other thing but like we don't know anything about them like, yeah there's one thing yeah. i hate about minecraft is um i guess it's nether now but um 
everyone would just look the exact same. Everyone would have a diamond sword. Everyone would have a diamond chest plate or diamond armor. Um, and if there were more variety, it'd be like, hey, this guy likes to use fast attacks. This guy likes to use more damage. This guy likes to like the whatever special effect this gives. So this guy is using Cobalt. This guy is using Thorium. And they're all good in their own respective uh, areas. And it'd be so cool. Yeah, it'd be so awesome. I can't wait. Uh, I just want to see what weapon's the best. Like, what do you think the best weapon in Hightail will be? We have not seen it. I uh, 100% we have. If and Varen drops a weapon, it's his. Yeah. Imagine. Well, you know, it's when the boss, you know, you fight him, he's like super overpowered, but as a playbook character, he sucks, you know? Yeah. But maybe, maybe. That's how it always power. is. That is always how it is. It's I like, why do they have 5,000 health and I don't have 5,000 yeah, health? Yeah, this is bullcrap, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I would love that. But also, I don't know, we see Varen's got gravity powers now, so like, what does he got? Can you take his gravity arm? Like, wouldn't that be sick? Oh my god. Imagine you just make all the Sky Islands fall. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine using a gravity arm on the ragdolls to just start launching them. <laughs> That'd be too fun. That would be so fun. I would love that. I think we got time for... Oh. I'm going to skip this question. We're going to go to it later. Because this All one right. is perfect. Um, Kola Schlofa asks... Gravity. Is that Will German? Will sand and, or gravel fall? Ooh, have we seen that? I have we seen that fall? I, we might have answered it. I don't remember what it said. Um, I hope so. I don't know if we have seen that, but either way, there's videos of it breaking and it looks very dusty and particle-y. So, maybe? <laughs> I don't know, I can't answer that, but that's a pretty good question. That would be something we could ask um, John, be like, hey John, you know in Minecraft when sand and gravel falls on? Yeah, that sucks, is that in Hytale? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I don't really have a good answer to that. I, I yeah. just hope that it, it does fall. I hope there are some gravity mechanics um, maybe not sand and gravel specifically, because then people will be like, oh, this is just Minecraft. Yeah, <laughs> right? But, maybe it'll be a different type of... Well, I can see sand, though. Like, yeah, sand, sand, I think, can fall. Yeah. But, you know, there's other blocks that could also fall. Mm -hmm. What else? We'll yeah. just have to see. Yeah, we'll um, just have to see. I think that's good for the question for today, because we still yeah. got to upload this. We do. We're a little um, late today. <laughs> we are Oops. a little late. But we yeah. we do have busy schedules. I literally got to go in like an hour. I got another That's fine. wedding. I will. Sh oh, another one. Wow. Cool. Congratulations. Yeah. Alrighty there, married. folks. It's actually John Hendricks. He's showing up. Oh, that's nice of him. All we're right, both folks. Getting married to the Hightail game itself. Me too. I'm already there. I'm the oh, priest. yeah. You're coming, by the way. I I'm, I'm, I'm the priest. That's why I'm going. <laughs> um, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Chris. That's mine on that side over there. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.